Welcome back to another video. Me and Simon have finally been let out of Wales. We're in the Lake District today with Danny. Hello! We're outside Wales. We're with Mark as well. He's just starting to pay for the car park in the cafe over there. So today we're going to do a couple of summits and hopefully stay in a boffy tonight. Either Dubs Hut, I think it's called. Or one one scale. One scale boffy. But if they're full, we got tents, so we got the option of pitching up outside. So yeah, two summits today, then tomorrow I think we're doing another five, I believe. So um yeah, that's gonna be fun. So we'll wait for Matt to come back now, then we'll we'll make tracks. So we've parked in the Honister Slate Not sure you me The Honister Slate Mine Which is over my left shoulder, you can see the car park And it's pretty steep from the get-go And now uh, we're about to practice because we haven't hiked for over a month So we're going to go to our first Nuttall, which I think is called Fleet With Pike so Danny informs us. Yeah, so we're going to make our way up to the first, and that's all of the hike. Beautiful place, though. The views are spectacular up here. With some moody skies and clouds ro rolling in. But luckily, so far, no rain, which is always a good thing, because it's been forecast. I think it gives us 90% chance of rain. So, touch wood quick, it hasn't rained yet. Look at that. Very thoughtful for people up here. They've actually put some sheep up here for us, <laughs> to make us feel at home. And if you're Welsh, you know what I mean. Have a look at this. You don't want to be falling down there, like. Oh, can I hold my belly there, <laughs> In fact, <laughs> it looks like it's been filled in. Can you look at it from here? I don't know how solid that ground would be, but that wouldn't be a bad shelter there to be around here for a busy. Yeah, it'd be a shit view though. Yep. <laughs> it'd be sheltered. Yeah. Where's your gold out edge? Where? Well, I can fucking see that gap. It's okay if you like rock. <coughs> we Making our way up to the first summit of the weekend. And this is Honister Crag. Well, it will be when we get to the summit. Not quite there yet. Yeah, Freak with Pike is the second one. First one's Hollis the Crag, like we said. And we're just going to follow Danny up there. 
because he seems to know where he's going. <laughs> Honest the crag, done. Next one, Fleet Whiff Pike over there. That for a view, but to me, it down there. Awesome. Fleet with Pike. We are going to follow the path down now, which is roughly over there. We're going to take a look at Wan Scale Boffy and Dub's Hut, another Boffy. And we're going to see what we're going to do. We might stay in a Boffy if there's space. If not, we got tents, like I said before. So we'll follow Danny and Mark down the side of the mountain. Oh, what the hell? Let's go! Wow! Fuck it out! Fucking crazy! Yo, that is fierce! Danny's in there with Mark, the other Mark. Um, we'll take a walk around to the entrance. <clears throat> and there's other people in there, I can see them through the window. We are making our way to one scale Boffy. Will we get in there? Keep watching to find out. We come to the notorious river crossing. Can he do it? 
No pressure. Danny's over there, just filming him, filming him. Danny's over there. Hang on, it's my turn. Check that view out. And if I pan round, there is one scale boffy. I think Danny and Mark are in there. Let's go and see if uh, there's anyone else in there as well. Mind your head. Oof. Hey boys, we've only fucking scored a fucking winner. Hello, anybody home? Yeah, throw that fucking down there. Yay, we've got a place for ourselves. So this Danny folks finger. is one scale boffy. So we've all been sat in the boffy for the last hour and a half. Only a small boffy, there's um enough room for the four of us, so yeah we got it to ourselves. Having a couple of cans, got the fire going. Absolutely awesome. We're going to have a bit of food soon, just chill out for the night, have a bit of a laugh. Yeah, awesome, awesome day. And a awesome night as well. Words. Yeah, we got in this bothy in the nick of time because famous last words. I mentioned it wasn't raining at all, and um, as soon as we literally set foot in the bothy, the heavens opened and it hasn't stopped raining since. So it's a bloody miserable. Grim evening here, but we're having a lot of fun in there, so the more than makes up for the weather. Good lads, good company. Oh, we're having a good laugh. Yeah, it's been really good, like, but um, I'll just pan around, show you. A lot of rain up there. It's an awesome bath, this is. <clears throat> the only downside is the door's really low and Mark actually banged his head on the, the top of the uh, cut his head on here so you want best these with that and then you've got to try and navigate this under this to get out Yeah, so we were in the Bothy and we heard like a squeaking noise. And Bothy's are well known for attracting mice and stuff. But we seen two um, two little shrews under the bench in the corner, in the corner eating uh, looked like crumbs of like bread or something. But uh, yeah, they're quite cute, like to be honest. Smaller than mice. Yeah, but it's, a, it's been an awesome experience up here. It's the first, like I said before earlier in the video, that we've never been to the Lake District before. Yeah, it's a, <clears throat> it's a great place, and I reckon we'll be coming back again sometime. Just show you again the Bothy. Yeah, we brought tents as well, but I don't think there's any flat spots around this bothy where you can actually pitch a tent anyway so we were lucky we actually got in there and there's no one in there so we've got the fire going and uh, it's going to be a nice dry warm night and the water is cascading down that river it's 
so it's time for food I think I'm gonna have a, a dehydrated well, um, a freeze-dried meal which I had spare from the Swiss Alps and uh, have some food a couple of beers and a lot of laughs so we'll bring you back when I walk in the morning Stand in the pool yeah. If it was you, so you could you it out with the bench, bring <laughs> this further don't, forward, don't, don't go mad. and then put a bunk for a second. Don't get too Hello again. Just come out of the boffy. There's nine of us in there now been joined by another five young lads, all top blokes. So we're gonna have another couple of drinks and go to bed. God, it's freezing out here. God, bloody freezing. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's around 6.30 a.m. Just come outside to have a look around. A little bit of rain in the air, nothing much at the moment, just spits and spots. Danny Mark and one of the guys that showed up last night are still in the in the boffy. One of them has camped there. One of them went down the down the bottom somewhere. And I don't know where the other two blokes went, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna get some water boiled now and get a coffee on the go. Maybe have something to eat. Just left the boffy. Me, Simon, Danny. We're gonna. I think we're doing four summits this morning. We've left Mark in the boffy. He's gonna catch us up in about 15 minutes. So right, let's get. Um, great Gable. We going there, are we? Great Gable. I think it's Great Gable or I don't know. Green Gable. One of the two. It's either Great or Green. So we're going to head on up and bag that. It's slippery as hell, isn't it? I can't see many of the summits today. <sighs> Nearly all of them in the clouds. There's Danny. Let's catch him up. Well, this is the great British weather, folks. It's absolute shite. <laughs> Look at that, can't see a whole lot. All the summits are shrouded in cloud. And I think we're going up that way somewhere. Slowly making our way up. As you can see. 
visibility is zilch. And this last section has been quite steep and there's a lot of scree around, so walking on it is quite tough. We're going to carry on up the path now. Get to the summit. It's like being back in the glitters. It's windy as hell. So there we have it. That's the summit of Great Gable. 899 meters elevation. Summit. And have a look at those views. What views, he says. <laughs> Tell you what, folks, this is a bit, bit naughty. Bit of a scramble down. Gotta go down there now and then follow the path over that way. Well, some sort of path. <laughs> Hope you can hear me. It's the second summit of the day. Green Gable. 801 meters. And it is windy as hell. Nearly blew me off, man. Oh. This is epic. Oh, bonkers with wind, man. We must be mad. It's the third summit of the morning and it's absolutely pissing down. Oh. This is grim. <laughs> we're not sure which one's a true summit, so we're gonna tap them both. I think that one's called Brandruff. Wow, this is. This is not good. Coming up to the fourth and final nut all of the day and this is grey knots apparently and there's a summit up there so let's go and tap out Okay, yeah. And here's the fourth summit of the day. Grey knots. So that's the four summits done. We're going to head back down now. Nothing more to film, really. And we'll see you at the back of the car. We're back down to the car park now, uh, in the Hollister mine. We're all soaked through to the skin. We're going to get some nice, clean, dry clothes on. And we're going to head back home. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.